Take a seat. How can you do this? It's unfair. Another half life. Jedi Master Mace Windu was regarded as one of the most powerful and gifted Jedi in the galaxy. Of course, having outperformed many masters at the academy when he was just 14 years old. Now, Windu was undoubtedly apprentice to Master Yoda himself. However, as Yoda was senior and grandmaster of all the Jedi on the council and at the academy, he was not Windu's only master. There was another in Legends, a female Neti species by the name of Tira Sa. Saw served the Jedi Order during the final centuries of the Galactic Republic. She joined the Jedi Order and gained the rank of Jedi Master centuries before its fall to the Empire. Being at least several hundred years old, she was one of the oldest of the Jedi to fight in the Clone Wars. Saw was a combatant in the opening battle of the war, the Battle of Genosis, and fought as part of Mace Windu's strike team. She was definitely among the few Jedi to survive that devastating battle. A calm and thoughtful Jedi who never lost her temper or jumped to conclusions, she had a tendency to speak in riddles or metaphors to recite her vast wisdom and knowledge, which she had gained through centuries of experience. The Neti species lived to be several hundred years old, attaining as much knowledge on their preferred practice in this time. She fell in love with Jedi Master Tom, despite their species differences, of course. They both believed that they had found a way to love without the selfishness, jealousy, and attachment that might come with it, according to the Jedi Code. Disregarding her longer lifespan than his, upon his transference to the Netherworld, or death, Sa lived at his burial place and remained in meditation for many years. She would speak very little to others about that time. Her Force powers included an illustrious list of centuries of mastery, the main ones being Force healing, lightsaber combat, and telekinesis. She was also one of the few Jedi to be versed in battle meditation, which essentially was when a Jedi would constantly use Force powers and abilities while they dueled against enemies. Sa was on Nar Shada with Tom and the pregnant Kaleen Hentz in the final days of the Clone Wars, where they evaded Order 66 together. After the Order, all three fled Nar Shada and hid on Kashyyyk, along with Quinlan Vos, who was stationed on the Wookiee homeworld during the Clone Wars. Demonstrating her massive powers at the time of her death to protect the hidden Jedi Temple, she used the aid of Nat Skywalker, where she was able to focus the energy of herself and others around her into a massive beam of light that shot into space, allowing an opening for the Jedi and their allies to escape. By the time of her death, she was also capable of absorbing blaster shots with her bare hands. This was called to Menis. The last trait of hers that I found particularly interesting and cool for this short video was that she could shapeshift to look, sound, and move like anyone she wished. However, her preferred form was similar to that of a human woman, the most notable differences being no nose and brown tendrils instead of hair. She was basically like Star Wars' mystique. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick video on the backstory of Mace's master. If you want me to make another video covering more of her character and her relationship with Mace, let me know down below and I can do that for you. Thanks for watching this video, hit like if you enjoyed it, and I will see you all in the next episode of Star Wars Theory. Until then, remember, the Force will be with you. Always.